Hey guys, Ty here, and today, well, I just brushed my teeth, but that's besides the fact. Today, we're gonna play FTL, and if you don't know what FTL is, now you will. FTL is developed by Subset Games, and I think it was a Kickstarter project, so if you donated to this, you probably had the beta before everyone else, but I didn't, so I just went on Steam on probably Friday, I think, and I bought it, and it was pretty fun to play through the tutorial. I got to Sector 8, but then I realized that... Well, I don't want to talk about it, but let's begin with a new game. Now, FTL is played in the style of permadeath or infinite death or roguelike. Basically, it's if you ever play Binding of Isaacs, it's like that. You get one life, so your gameplays are can span anywhere from you know five minutes to an hour, depending on how long you're good at or how lucky you are. This game is really luck based. It's not much of, I mean, there is skill required, but it's really luck based. That's I find that with most permadeath games, but. Without further ado, let's begin. New game. Yes, I want a new game. Alright, so I have my crew members. Rebecca. Eh, I don't like that. I'm going to name her... Hmm, what should I name her? Old Rebecca. Yeah, there we go. Um, Hector, I don't like you. I'm going to name you. I'm going to rename you to a personal favorite person of mine SGT Archie oh no Sergeant Archie if you don't know who Sergeant Archie is good but if you do get the reference <laughs> funny isn't it and Wushing that's Asian enough that's kinda like the person we're talking about guys right uh, I'm gonna play on easy because I suck at games and life in general and I'm gonna rename my ship the Kestrel. What is a Star Trek? I'm gonna name it Key Lime Sky. Yeah, took me about 20 seconds to come out with that. Ain't that cool? Jay Z would be proud. So let's begin. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, system damage. When a system fully breaks due to fire or borders, borders, the hull also takes one damage. Continue. Alright, I guess I got nothing here, so... Mmm. Mmm, very tough choice. I think it's, it would be prudent if I take the north rather than go west or east or whatever direction that is. So I'm spawned in two here. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Ooh, guys, what should we do? Should we intervene? Look at this. All right, it's got eyes, so it means it has sensors on us. Well, it's an auto scout, so it does only has weapons. It doesn't even have shields. We can take this guy. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. All right, so this is where the fun comes. I'm going to pause the game, and I'm going to choose my burst light. Oh. Oh, no, it's got cloaking. No. No. Okay. So I'm just going to charge my weapons up then, because I can't do anything until the cloaking's done. Alright, looks like cloaking's going to run out pretty soon. Why aren't my weapons charging? What? It only charges when I can see them? That's stupid. Oh, no, it shot, it shot its bolt on me. But alas, I'm going to shoot a burst laser at it. I'm also going to shoot a shiny little Artemis missile into its cloaking shield. Let's see how you take that. I'm also going to send Sergeant Archie to the shield bay. And I'll let Rebecca fly the ship. She seems trustworthy enough. Alright, two more hits and this ship is gone. This ship is a goner, guys. I also gotta get someone to repair my engine, so I'm gonna actually send Archie over there to the engine so he can charge it up. Alright, let's go. Fire the burst laser. Pew! Pew! Oh, that ship is a goner. Mmm, nice hit, guys. Oh, look at it just falling apart. It's carapace opening to the sea. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help! We've been harassed nonstop by these scouts. Take this onto house. Accidentally rhyming? So while I repair my freaking engine bay because 
someone didn't have the prudency to send their men to the ship, but what else, foo? What else? What you gonna do? What's good, blood? Um, so after that moment of ghettoosity, I'm gonna send back this guy back to the shield chambers. Gonna power off some of my systems. Gonna fire up my engines. Jump. Mm, there's another distress beacon. I'll go see that, I guess, because I'm such a savior. Oh, I have arrived. Um, you locate the source of a distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement and riot seems likely. Your crews try to keep the crowds in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crazed with fear, the infected grab mining tools and pitch back at your crew, uh, forcing them to retreat hastily. They barely get away without injury, but the same can't be said for the colony's leader. You quickly leave. <sighs> well, I mean, I want to say it's a bad thing, but I don't know. I guess I'm going to go here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, asteroid field. Hate asteroids. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover the rebel automated scout has been stationed there. Prepare to fight. Well, I'm going to power up my burst lasers and try to shoot it at the uh, weapon systems. Hopefully, it'll prove strong enough to hit it, attack it. Its engine is down. If only I could get a hit with my, with asteroids on it, actually. Ooh. Maybe, oh, I'm just bursting laser. He's gone. He's a goner. That auto scout is destroyed. Boom. Boom, boom, pow. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Alright, uh, I guess we gotta wait for the thing to charge. So, how long have I been recording? I can't tell. It won't tell me how long I record, actually, which is kind of bad, but oh well. I mean, what you gonna do when they come for you? So, I'm basically just gonna record like one sector at a time. There's eight sectors, so, you know, if I die, I just have to restart. Hmm, man, that warning's awfully close. I'm going to go to this unvisited location, then probably hit the store, get some much needed supplies.